Uh, we've never accused Brock of being uh, an intelligent person. That, and, and if we did accuse him of that, he would be exonerated in open court. <laughs> but, and I know everybody's out oh, now. He don't like Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar was an OVW guy. But first of all, and, and the stories have been told, Brock Lesnar in his brief time here in, in Louisville for OVW, when he didn't know fuck a wrist lock from a wristwatch, he had never been a wrestling fan before. They signed him because he was an incredible athlete, won the NCAA championship. He came down here. He admitted it in his book that he wrote. Uh, well, actually, somebody wrote for him that he didn't like Louisville from the start, and he didn't want to be here any longer than he had to be, and that's why he gave out a half-ass effort. Now, I've always mentioned I knew he wasn't trying because I wish they'd they'd come up with a steroid that would make you entertaining and have a personality. If he'd taken that, I might have used him better. While he was here, he managed to piss off and alienate my best friend, Star Maker Bolin, uh, my girlfriend, now wife at the time, Stacy. Bullied a few of our referees, uh, generally uh, had people just, you know, not fans of Brock's. And Shelton Benjamin had to be his partner and carry him because he didn't know what this business was supposed to look like. And I knew then and even said he's a great athlete and I'm sure he'll draw money, but he don't like the wrestling business and he didn't want to be in it. And he's only doing it for the money. And lo and behold, the prophecy came true. And now he gets several million dollars for you're showing up once or twice a year, which actually, if you have to be around Brock, that's about the times to do it. And that's probably the best use of him. But now he's cost himself millions of dollars flunking these drug tests. And, and I've been in the car and driving back and forth from here to Oklahoma and et cetera, et cetera. What do you know about the substance, if anything, that, that he has been been popped for? I don't know too much. Obviously, this all went down um, from the news of the failure of the drug test to the actual fight with Mark Hunt while I was in Hawaii and I was a little out of touch. But from what I've seen, and, I, and by, by the way, I'd love to meet Mark Hunt's brother, Mike. <laughs> Mike Hunt, yes, absolutely. Yeah, Mike, I'd love to meet Mike Hunt, but nevertheless, go ahead. <laughs> You're making me think of the movie Porky's when you say that, Jim. Um, uh, from what I gather, Brock's camp is stating that they believe that he was popped due to the asthma inhaler that he uses because Brock has asthma. Bullshit. Bullshit. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Bullshit. It Bullshit. sounds like oh, it's, it sounds like you may have asthma as well. Yeah, right <laughs> apparently I need one of those inhalers. Bullshit. Um, um, I, I, you know, it, it's not like he's never done it in the past, but you would think with millions of dollars on the line, that he would be somehow more careful or that his handlers, I suppose when you get to that level of stardom and, and athleticism, a world-class athlete that you have handlers, managers, trainers, people who would say, you know, if you, if you use that inhaler or you, you eat, I mean, there's stuff they test for now that's in cereal for fuck's sake. They test for everything. Yeah. And you know, you would think that he'd have somebody that says, well, if this is an honest and legitimate mistake that 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 somebody would tell him don't don't take this stuff because it's it's sketchy or questionable or whatever well brock's camp is saying that it came from an inhaler for asthma uh according to reports that are currently coming out uh, i believe in the la times they're saying it's very similar to what happened to john jones it is a fertility drug that helps um hold down estrogen helps to <laughs> you know turn away estrogen oh uh, look brock just from looking at him he's got way too much estrogen he's got so many female characteristics <laughs> oh for fuck's sake. and a fertility drug that's all we need is for sable to breed <laughs> fuck she's probably did she ever uterus worked on like she's had everything else worked on because parts of her are nearly 50 years old now some parts are only like still teenagers but uh it it, it is so you know once again it just makes bad publicity and i don't care about bad publicity for the wwe because they got enough problems as it is but you know the ultimate fighting championship which is struggling and trying to to establish itself as a major league sport and has, and it just got sold for $4 billion and then two high profile, John Jones and Brock Lesnar. And, you know, uh, fool me once, as they say, shame on you. Fool me twice, Dana. Shame on me. Maybe you're hanging out with the wrong people, Dana. <laughs> well, you know, Jim, this calls, you know, in the question, you know, Brock Lesnar is a contracted WWE performer, although part-time. It calls into question whether he's being tested at all by them and their wellness policy. But let me ask you this. Uh, I've always heard stories. I don't know too much about it. But when Brock was working for you in OVW in Louisville, 
uh, correct me if I'm wrong. He was arrested for, I don't know if it was um, having steroids. What exactly happened? Well, I've never actually told this story and nobody's ever asked the question. I didn't avoid it. I just, it hadn't come up, but it, it, it's out now. I mean, the mug shot's been online and, 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 I know there's a couple of reporters investigating the story now that in light of the recent events, but this was back in God, when was Brock here? 2001 ish. Yeah. So it's 15 years ago. And I'm sitting in, I wasn't in the castle then I was, I was in house cross town and I had my office instead of being on the top floor was in the basement. So I'm down in my dungeon. I'm writing my OVW TV format. It's like nine, nine thirty one night. And I get a phone call. And it's Brad and Brock has never called me on the phone right since he's been in Louisville at this point in time. I've never heard from him on the phone. He's can can I come over and talk to you? And he had somebody with him. And I'm not going to mention this guy's name. He was a wrestler then. He's no longer in the business. He was a really nice guy, and really tried hard and deserved a better chance than what he got. But nevertheless, I'm not going to you know blister him in this story. But the two of them, I said, well, can you wait till tomorrow? I'll see a TV. Well, no, I really need to talk to you right now. All right, come on over. So like 10 o'clock at night, these two yahoos pull up and they come in and they tell me what had happened apparently was Brock and this other gentleman had ordered some type of, I I don't know what it was. I don't want to spread false information, but it was of the steroid variety, illegal type shit that you get from these pharmacies that were being investigated heavily at the time. And they ordered it through the mail and had it sent like FedEx to their fucking apartment complex, to their home address. And, and, and. When they went to pick it up at the at the department office and got and signed for it, they got arrested because apparently the the cops were they weren't looking for them. They were watching packages from these people. You know what I'm saying? They're not just like we're going to go yeah. out to get Brock Lesnar. They whoever that these people sent packages to, they were they were looking for. It. And I was like, let me get this straight. Yeah, or for one thing, once again. Um, you, you, you need some kind of transplant of personality, not, you know, more muscles. You got enough muscles for fuck's sake, but you ordered illegal shit and had it FedEx to your home address and then went and signed for it in person. Uh, so we didn't at the time, you know, we hadn't been here long and we didn't want the the office to hear about it. And, and these guys, you know, for a mistake, I didn't know he was going to make a lifetime pattern of it with between who he marries and, and things he does. Um, I, we didn't want the office to hear about it. I called Dean Hill, who had was retired as 25 year veteran of the Louisville police department said, how much trouble are these guys in? And you know, what can be done? And, and of course, Dean, it was 10 o'clock at night. He'd had a couple of scotches from his, he, he was at the time doing, a a, 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 a job where he did, he did a lot of manual labor. He was doing uh, maintenance and, and, and construction and things on, on a, a horse farms, a variety of things. And so he's had a couple of scotches. He's like trying to tell me. And I don't remember what the dispensation was. I know they got an attorney and for a long time, we didn't hear anything from the office. But then of course, when, when, uh, uh, you know, the internet got bigger and more widespread and these things become available, obviously they had heard about it. Uh, but that was after the fact. And, and, you know, I, I can understand a young guy trying to, you know, even though he was getting paid $250,000 a year to go to wrestling school uh, and then still complained about it and then still actually lied to get out of Louisville as quickly as he could by saying he had to go home to Minnesota because his girlfriend at the time was pregnant, going to have a baby. He just wanted to leave Louisville and that he went back to Minnesota and trained with Brad Ringens in a barn so that he could be home rather than be down here with the rest of the boys. He was making five times as much money as they were. Cause he, did I mention he didn't ever want to be in the, in the business to begin with. And lo and behold, um, but I can understand a guy trying to get a job, trying to get a spot on the, you know, big time TV and everything. But now when you know you're going to be tested, when millions of dollars are on the line, et cetera, et cetera, what the fuck? Seriously, just what the fuck? Just not even that. I don't even know if bad judgment takes that into account. 